G'day everyone, welcome to another session of Shearing World Quick Tips. Um, today we're going to look at how we can tell when we need to change our cogs or replace our cogs. Um, first though, we're going to look at how we can remove them quickly in the shed with not many tools. Um, and it's quite simple and not many people realise how easy it is to change cogs. So first of all, take your ferrule off. Now all we need now is one Heinegger screwdriver which will go in here. So we'll take that oil cap out and we're just going to jam it in the side of the um, fork in there so that the fork can't rotate. And then we're going to just jam it in the corner of both cogs there in the back joint. And all I'm going to do is twist it. We're going to hold this one. We're going to twist. Bang, you hear it pop. Now that back cog has undone. Now the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna leave that in there. Just get a shifter. And we're just gonna undo the worm drive here. There we go. Okay, so now we can just take this one out. All right, we're gonna leave that in there. It's gonna hold the fork still. And all I have to do is start undoing that cog. And in the process, while I'm undoing it, you're pulling the back joint out. So you'll see me, you should see the cog turning. Like that, nice and easy. Bang, whole lot comes out. Then, while we've still got it all there, we're just gonna put our thumb or our finger, whatever, and we're just gonna undo that worm drive, like that, that comes out, and they're both in your hand. Now we're just going to have a look at these cogs. This is a hand piece that we need to repair, and you, as you can see, there's worn parts on the top. So if you have a look at this one, this one here is worn out, but you'll see how they look like they're sort of move, moved on an, onto an angle. They're not straight anymore. And you can see they're quite, got a sharp, sharpish point here. And then if we roll it this way, you can see along here that the, the edge, here looks re very square. So that tells me straight away, just by looking at it, that's really worn out and that's not far off actually having a lock up. Now we go to the next one. This one actually did have a lock up. You can see that that square tip is broken off because it's thin. And you can see it there. Right, that one there, that one there, that one there, that one there. They're all squared off and broken off at the tip. So that's what happens with our cogs. They wear so much that they get really thin at the tip then they break. So, and then we go to a new one. You can see there, nice and square. Not, not very square on the tip here, but nice and thick at the top. So that's the 14 tooth um, cog. The Evo cog, which is exactly the same, except it has 11 teeth, a lot thicker. Same deal, it's got a rounded top, but the difference between these two is the gap in between here, in between each tooth. So this is an 11 tooth, standard one's 14. These do fit in an icon, no problem, and run, you wouldn't notice a lot of difference. So for guys that shear up in the sandy country all the time, might be something to think about, putting these in to make them last. Um, you might notice a slight difference in smoothness on your handpiece, but the 14 tooth is the smoothest one, and hence why a Heinegger handpiece has run really smooth most times. So that's just something you can look at. Um, and when you're in the shed, just needing a screwdriver, small shifter, 
and another one to just lock the cogs up to take them out. You know, to put new ones in takes, I don't know, might be a minute and a half for me. So it's really easy to do and something you can um, do on your own in the shed. So any questions, leave a comment below and uh, we'll talk to you in the next one. Cheers.